hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i filmed an unboxing try on style y'all know how it goes of march's boxy Lux box and guys there are so much goodies in there i'm gonna tell y'all the price right now so if you guys would like to see all the products and goodies i got see everything i used to create this beautiful look then just keep watching okay so jumping right in i already know this video is going to be a headache and a half to film so i'm just gonna excuse my appearance I look, I look pretty crazy right now. We look crazy. But there's some skincare in here. That's why we look like this. But anyways, this is what this month's box is. This is the Boxy Luxe box of the month of March. So this is what inside looks like. I'm going to read everything on here. So this month's theme is Boxy Pretty Edgy. First up is this QMS Medi Cosmetics Lip Line Corrector. So you put this where you get your smile lines and that's supposed to, you know, be anti-aging and everything. But y'all, wait till I tell you the price. Are y'all ready? Drum roll, please. $200. This retails for $200. Yo, I'm gonna, like, guard this with my life because that's expensive. That is a lot of money. That's a big coin. So, I'm going to see if this really works for that price. So, next up is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum and Coco Cabana Cream Duo. So, this, I used this one before. It smells like a dream, but I never smelled this one before. So, I'm about to smell it right now. This smells so amazing. I love these. They are like so moisturizing too. They sent this one time in a box to try like when I first started. Mm, they smell so amazing. So that's for your body, your hands, and everything. And those two minis retail for $15. It provides 72 hours of hydration. Those are really it. Like, I'll repurchase those, definitely. This is the BoxyCharm Hello Charmer Palette. This retails for $39. I'm going to show y'all what the inside looks like because it's really cute. This is what it looks like. It comes with a mirror as well. These colors are so gorgeous. Like, I can't wait to use them. Mm. This PMD Beauty Smart Facial Cleansing Device. This retails for $99. Whoa. So I've been wanting, here, I'm going to open it real quick. So I've been wanting one of these for a while now. And I'm so glad that I didn't buy it because I got it in a BoxyCharm. These are so good to cleanse your face. I'm like, oh, it's going to feel so nice. I'm super excited to use that. When I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh. They like read my mind every single time. So next up is this NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. This retails for $25. I'm going to show you guys the color. It's like so gorgeous. I've never like used any NARS products really like that except for um their foundation, the Natural Radiant Longwear. This is what it looks like. This is in the shade You're No Good. I'm going to swatch it for you guys because it's gorgeous this color. I can't swatch like I'm sorry. It's <laughs> I'm just gonna do it like this. So this is what it looks like. It's like this really nice, like hot pink fuchsia type of color. I don't know how I'm gonna make a look and have that as the pop color because some of the other products in here, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna have to see. Honestly, this is why I said this video was gonna be a headache and a half. Next up is the Elizabeth Mott Smooth Shadow Eye Pencil Duo. This retails for forty dollars. And it claims that it's really creamy, gliding, shimmery, oh, eyeliner? Slightly shimmery eyeliner. So it says, super creamy and slightly shimmery creamy eyeliner. This gel eye pencil glides on easy, feels like satin, and goes from day till night in an instant. That's cute though. I like that. That would be nice for like an inner corner. I think I might just do that as an inner corner. It is really nice though. So that's the eyeliner right there. It is kind of shimmery too. I can't, why, why do I swatch like this? But this is the eyeliner. It is kind of shimmery too, like it said in the description. But we're just gonna have to see, like, 
y'all know i just come up with it on the dot so when the time comes we'll just cross that bridge when we get there <laughs> i actually used one of these but this is the invisible invisible the original traceless hair ring this is a pack of three and it retails for eight dollars and i love these i don't know where my other one is it's somewhere but it like you know you put it well that's crazy so you just put it in your hair and it's like a scrunchie but it doesn't leave any creases in it which is good because when i like have my hair like nice and blow dried and i want to put it up but i don't want to crease it i was actually gonna buy these too like this box like i was gonna buy the face cleanser i was gonna buy this like boxy charm you're really coming through this month so last but not least, we have the Appeal Cosmetics Gel Liner. This retails for $21. It says it's extremely long-wearing, waterproof formula. It glides over your, on your lips or your eyes. You can wear it up to seven hours, it says. So let's see. I didn't even open it to check, like, the color or anything. <laughs> Y'all, look at that gorgeous color. That's going right on my lips, honestly. That's going right on the lips. That is so beautiful. This is like the perfect nude, okay? I'm went, I made my decision. I'm going to tell y'all when we get there, though. Okay, so that is everything that we have in the box. Imagine I just end the video right here. Like, bye, guys. That would be so funny. So that is everything in the box. Now we're just going to jump right in and just get right, right to So I look pretty crazy right now. So I'm just going to grab my Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I love this so much it's really bomb so i think i'm just gonna grab that and just i look crazy <laughs> i don't know how this is supposed to work Alright, so I'm about to go wash that off and then I'm going to give you guys my final okay, thoughts. So that actually felt so refreshing and so nice on my face. Like, I feel like my face just feels like so tingly and refreshing. So much better than using your hands, honestly. Like, yes, yes. Whoever invented that, God bless. Because that was bomb. I loved it. Now I'm going to use the lip line corrector. Look at how you open it. Bomb. Like, that's so bomb. I'm just put it on my lips too, just for the fun of it. Okay, so I'm back. I had to do my hair real quick. It still looks kind of a mess. But I didn't know what else to do. I guess I could put it into a bun or something. But all I know is I was looking crazy. I'm just going to leave it like this. So I'm back, I did my hair, laid my edges, filled in my brows, cleaned them up. But guys, I've been doing my brows a new way. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but it's so bomb and it takes like two seconds. So if y'all want to see like in my next video, a little eyebrow tutorial incorporated, drop a comment down below and I'll do that for you guys. I'm going to do my eyes first. I'm going to prime with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I'm going to buff that out with my Morphe M173. I'm just going to really quick set that with my Airspun Transistent Setting Powder. So grabbing the boxy charm hello charm palette. I so don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. I don't know. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Ooh. 
Okay, so I'm going to grab premium on this clean blending brush. And I'm just going to work that right into my crease as my first color. All right, so I feel like that doesn't really show on my skin. But I kind of see, but not really. I'm going to grab spoiler right here and just blend that into premium. Let me just note. I like how the names Boxy, Charmer, Full Size, Exclusive, Spoiler, Luxe, Unboxing, Sneak Peek, Premium, Swipe Up, Pop Up, and Cup of Joe. Like, that is cute. I like how they... I see what y'all did there. I see what y'all did. I picked up what y'all put down, and I appreciate it. It's cute. Alright guys, I just want to mention, I finally got my eyebrows done. So I used to go get my eyebrows threaded and everything. But then after a while, I know y'all see it, like I started getting these bumps. And my threading lady, she was just like, oh, you know, that's from like oil, like oil build up. And they're not like pimples or nothing, like I can't pop them, like they don't hurt or nothing. Like they're just literally there and they're starting to get on this one too. And so I stopped getting my eyebrows started. I just started like using the little eyebrow razor and just doing them myself. And then I would be too scared that I'm just going to take off my whole eyebrow. And I would have been so angry at myself if I did that. So I just wouldn't take off enough because like I said, I was scared. So they was looking wild for a while. But if you guys do know like what I could do to like get rid of that, like I don't know how. And like I used to feel like insecure about it, but... Honestly, I don't care anymore. Like, everybody's different. So it's really not going to make me feel some type of way. I'd rather not have it there, though. I know, like, I don't know. I tried poking them with, like, a needle one time. Like, the needle and thread. And it didn't work. So I'm just, like, I'm not going to touch it. And I'm going to go to... I might as well just, like, call dermatologists and see if they take my insurance and everything. Because a lot of them don't take it. And I'm just, like, your girl needs help. Like, not... Like, it's just, it's just that. Like, my face is, like, clear and knock on wood. I'm also proud of myself, too. Because I've been posting. Like, I've been... This quarantine stuff, like, it just opened up my time. Because y'all know I was busy, like, school and work and everything. And my school shut down. My job is closed. It's really, like, sad, honestly. Every time I hear about it, I just want to cry. And it's, like, all I see on social media. It's, like, you can't even get away from it. And then... My mom's here like going crazy and like it's just it's really just sad and unfortunate but like I said y'all know like I'm a really positive person so I've been trying to you know invest that energy into positivity you knowing things are gonna get better and I'm not gonna lie like when it first happened like I had a whole panic attack like I was like <gasps> like hyperventilating I was like what it like this is crazy like I had a whole panic attack and I never like usually when I have a panic attack I can control like me outbursting but like I was in school and like usually I just like go away like I just go like in the bathroom or something but like I couldn't move and it was crazy it was like it was short but it was just such a weird panic like I couldn't I couldn't stop it so I realized like you know I kind of just have to let it flow because I don't like crying in front of people. I don't like it at all. But I will if I have to. But I'd rather just not. Like I kind of like to keep my emotions inside. I look so gorgeous. I'm loving this so far. I love this. <laughs> I get so hyped. Oh, so also let me tell you guys. While I clean my brush. Um, what you call? How I told y'all like my boyfriend's birthday weekend was coming up and everything. So that was actually we left on Saturday the fourteenth, and we came back Monday the sixteenth, which was one of our anniversaries. We made a year and seven months. <laughs> a year and seven months official. We made a year and nine months on the fourth. So we're almost at two years. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm like about to go off on a whole tangent because two years, that's a long time. Like that's my longest relationship. And 
like I'm still like so into him like as if I first met him like I'm in love <laughs> I love it it's so cute I could I, I literally I could cry right now like I could really cry like that's really my best friend just like my other half my best friend that is like me in a guy version like he's just like and like he's the calm to my storm because he's the most calmest most patient most loving most sweetest generous guy i've ever met in my life and like me like he's my pisces boy like y'all know how pisces are if you don't know they're so like they're just like snuggle bears and then me like i'm a gemini and i have a million moods and like i'm just i could get crazy and he knows that and he just sits there like okay like he just comes with he's the best like he's literally the best like i'm so blessed to have him but anyways anyways so let me not even go into that well, i'm gonna save that because me and him are gonna make a channel i don't know i don't know when but we're gonna end up making a channel and when we make it i want to be consistent with it so i don't want to just make it now because i know we won't be consistent because we're not with each other all the time but y'all wait on it because it's gonna come and we're gonna go into all the details about it Anyway, so let me just do this real quick and I'll show you. Now I'll tell you. So I'm going to grab this shade right here called Cup of Joe. And I'm going to put that on my outer V and blend it more in towards my lid. Okay, so for his birthday, what I had planned was if y'all saw like on my Instagram page, my personal page. I actually put it on public again. I know I said I was going to put it on private. But then I was like, why am I going to put it on private? Because of y'all's negativity. I could just block y'all and delete y'all. All the negative people, the people who are lurking. <laughs> Let me just blend it. The people who be lurking on my page that don't even follow me or like all that stuff. I was like, oh, I see y'all. <laughs> block. It's that simple. And I'm just like, I know they're going to be so mad when they try to search up my page and can't find it. I just be laughing. Like, I just think it's so funny. I told my mom, I was like, Mom! <sighs> like, y'all really took the time out of my day, to, out of your day, to find my personal Instagram. to alert. <laughs> Anyways, that's besides the point. Um, So, if y'all saw, I took him to Super Funland in New York City. It was so much fun. Oh my goodness. We went with my best friend. Like she, the, Selma, she's been my best friend since sixth grade. Sixth grade. Like I'm going to be wishing her a happy 20th birthday. And I remember wishing her a happy like 11th and 12th birthday. Like it's just so crazy. Like that's really, that's been my best friend for such a long time. But we went with her and her boyfriend and I'm, I met him for the first time. He's really cool and everything. And we all just, like, just had a good time. And, like, I'm like, this is so cute. That was my first double date. <gasps> I think that was our first double date. Oh, that's so cute. I'm going to have to text her after this. Yeah, that was, like, our first double date. Wow, look at us go. We had so much fun, though. We took so many pictures. And then another thing I was going to do for him, I wanted, um... I wanted to take him to Sojo Spa, but they closed because of the virus. They crossed because of it. I was like, ah, oh, damn. It was like literally the day before like we were supposed to go. And I was just like, dude, I was like, I'm so sorry. That's why we got pedicures and everything. It was, but it's okay. I want to, we're going to, I'm going to take him. Dad, you, you, you could, you'll do, you wait. Again, like maybe sometime in the summer, me and him can go. Just have a good time. Maybe for like our two years. Relax. But that's what we ended up doing. Like I got this gorgeous Airbnb. Like it was so beautiful. Like that's definitely our spot. Like me and him told him, we're like, this is our spot. Like we're going to come back here because it was it was so bomb like he was showing off to his friends he was just like yo like look at this like facetiming them like look at this bro it's this calm right it's so i'm just like what the hell and he was so excited and i was so happy that i was able to you know 
despite, you know, the Rona coming in and just messing up his birthday, that I was able to make it nice for him because he said he really enjoyed it and he had a good time. He was, like, so thankful. It was just, like, good. He was, like, you didn't even have to go all out, like, just being with you. And I'm, like, you're so sweet. So I think it's like day five of quarantine. I don't even know. Like I honestly lost track of whatever days. I've been pretty productive. Like I've been working out at my house because obviously the gyms are closed. I've been working out like every morning and I like it. Honestly, I low-key like it better than the gym. But I love the weights at the gym. But like I can look ugly in peace at my house. Like it's just so nice. And this morning, I followed um, my friend. She posted, like, a workout on her story from, like, another girl's page that she did. Like, an at-home workout, like, full body. And I did that earlier today. I was sweating. Like, I went ham. Like, it was crazy. I was dripping in sweat. And I can't wait to be sore from it tomorrow. And I'm actually, I'm probably going to, you know, do a little, like, 10 15 minute workout before i go like tonight i like working out at home actually like i kind of want to buy all the equipment and just do it at my house but i still want to keep my gym membership because like i said like the machines are so bomb like the swift machines and everything it's just trying to wake up in the morning because the way my schedule works i would have to go to the gym at like early like before the sun is even up type stuff like it's insane and i just can't get myself to wake up like i can't do it it's so hard for me but it's like i want it like i want that body like so last year around this time like i was fit like i was working out and everything but like i was skinny like <laughs> i was so skinny like i i, I if i can insert a picture i will I was really skinny, not really skinny, but I was slimmer than I am now. Around this time last year, I was trying to bulk up, like I was trying to get thick. And then from like last year to now, like I got thick, like I was like, okay, Gabby, look at you go. But now I'm trying to get toned, like I'm already thick and everything, but I want to get toned, like I want to tone my arms. Like my arms was looking so good last year, like I, I seen like it was carved out and real nice. I just wanted to tone everything up and kind of like do one of those types of things. But it's like, I know I'm going to get there. It just takes time and patience and dedication. It's really just all about the blending. Like, it's so crazy. You just got to just keep blending. Just keep blending. I can honestly just leave my face like this. Like, that is so. Let's just take a moment. Because my skin looks so good. I'm so happy. So I'm going to grab my Morphe M224. And I'm going to spray it. Look, I got this spray. Oh, y'all. I didn't post that box of charm. This spray, I hated it. Because it's just like, I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. Oh, you can't see it. But there is like this little like, it literally shoots out. Like actually, like it's like a mist. But it, I don't know. I'm going to explain it. Go ahead and grab this shade right here. It's called Lexi, and it, I feel like it kind of has like a green undertone. Like it's not like gold. I don't know how to explain it, but it's so pretty. Oh, you could so see that green undertone. Like I just love that. I'm gonna grab spoiler and just retouch my crease. I'm grabbing Cup of Joe. I'm just going to retouch the brown in there. Make sure everything's nice and blended out. I'm going to grab a big fluffy brush and just blend everything all together. Grab Luxie again. Just add that color back. And voila, beautiful. Oh, also, before I got distracted, I was talking about how I've been working out and everything. I also, so I don't know how to cook. Like, I can't cook for the life of me. I don't know. I just never 
never did it. So, but I could cook a mean breakfast, breakfast meal. I can cook breakfast. I just made the most bomb breakfast I ever had this morning. I'm going to tell y'all what I mean. So I made eggs. And then when I beat the eggs and everything, I added pieces of ham in it. And then I made bacon. So while the bacon was cooking, you know, I was doing the eggs and everything. And then while I first, I let the eggs heat up because I was making an omelet. That wasn't the initial thing. I didn't know I was going to make an omelet. I never made an omelet before. And it, I learned how to make an omelet today. I don't know how. But I randomly just learned how to make an omelet. So then it was there while I was turning the um the bacon and then I saw I was like oh my gosh it's like an omelet. So I flipped it to cook the other side and then I put cheese on it. And then I let it cook like that. And then I you know kind of sliced it in half because I also have a panini maker. Y'all know where this is going. And the cheese is just oozing out and it was so white cheese. It was so beautiful and yummy and then i grabbed my panini maker i put two slices of white cheese on my bread i grabbed some bacon like three pieces of bacon put it there and then i grabbed my egg you know the one that i cut with the ham and cheese in it i put that in there and then i put the other slice on top and then i put it in my panini maker and that's what i have for breakfast this morning doesn't that sound so amazing oh it was so bomb so i can make some nice breakfast in the morning bomb but dinner and lunch, um, that's not my forte. I don't want to do this up. So today we had some salmon, you know, in my freezer. And we also had asparagus. I love asparagus. So I was like, hmm, I could just grab the asparagus, you know, fry it up. Spin, I mean, salmon, fry it up. And we have potatoes. I could bake them so then my mom was like you know what you could do you could bake everything so i grabbed the potato wedges i cut them into four so they kind of looked like chunky um french fries like those chunky french fries and then i put some sasson some adobo on it seasoned it up real nice and good some oil put it in there and that john was so good it was the best oh my goodness it was amazing. Grab some sour cream, some ketchup. Yeah, that was it. It was so bomb. Same thing with the asparagus. Put it in the little glass baking pot. Put some oil. Put some adobo. Yeah, it was good. Some salt. Same thing with my, um, whatchamacallit, my salmon. Put some oil. Put some salt. Some adobo. Whipped at the top, put some flour so didn't stick or none. Baked it. Bomb. Best thing I ever had. I don't know about best thing I ever had, but it was amazing. And I was like, wow, I cooked this. Girl, I'm learning how to cook. So that's what happened today. I was so proud of myself. I'm just going to clean up my edges really quick. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and I'll be right back to finish off my eyes. Okay, so I just did the rest of my face. All the products are in the description box down below. So I'm trying to like hurry up because it's 630 something right now and the sun is setting at 711 today. So girl, I gotta hurry. What's next? See, this, this is what happens. This so I'm going to use the Elizabeth Mott Smooth Shadow Eye Pencil. I'm going to use the black one and I want to see if I can like smudge it out but i don't want to mess it up because i've never smudged before so we're just gonna see you know what happens i'm just gonna line that like on top try to make it like smoky or something so i just put a little bit right there and i guess i'm gonna grab my jh39 and just try to smudge that out That looks cute, actually. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. You know, off to a good start. 
I'm just gonna leave it just like that. Maybe I'll smudge it on the bottom too. But I don't know about all that. So I mainly focused that on that outer corner of my eye and it kind of just brought the excess back into the in inner corner because I just didn't want a black line everywhere. So next I'm just going to do my mascara and throw on some lashes and I'll be Okay, right so I just threw on my Ardell 3D Foaming Lashes in the style 854. So that's kind of like drying up a little bit and I want to smoke out my lower lash line. So grabbing my M506, I'm going to pick up a cup of Joe and just blend that under. So with that black gel liner, I'm going to tighten up my waterline with that. So I'm going to put some mascara on my lower lash line. Bring the Elizabeth Mott Smooth Shadow Creamy Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Pearl. I'm going to put that in my inner corner. That is so yo, that's gonna be my new inner corner highlight. I love this color. Wow, that's so gorgeous and it's so easy to put on too. It's like just boom. Okay, and last but certainly I was so hyped saying that too. Okay, so last but certainly not the least, I'm going to grab the appeal gel liner in the shade sugar and spice, and I'm just gonna put that on my lips. That looks so good. I feel like it's like more shinier because I had lip gloss on, but I'm not sure. But I'm just going to have to see. So as for the NARS one, I'll definitely use this in another video. I'm like, like I told you, I'm trying to like beat the sunset right now. So I didn't want to take put this on and take it off. Just, you know what I mean? But that's bomb. I really have like no bad things to say about this month's box. I love every single product in it. I can't wait to try them out more and everything. So that completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I know I did. If so, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time I post. And be sure to tell your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your aunt, your uncle, everybody to come subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. It'll be in the description box down below. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great week. Stay positive and good vibes only. Bye. is this QMS first up is de Janeiro 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 let me just read the instructions real quick so alright so I'm just gonna do my face and I'll see you in a All right, the products are in the what happens when I try to hurry up mmm